now, 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 now I'm really, really, really mad. But you know, that's fine. These people do this mess to themselves. So uh, Keith went to a place called the Milk and Honey. Stay tuned for his review. Here, ranking one through ten. As you can see, I don't have any bag in my hands. We are at the Real Milk and Honey on Main Street and College Park. Before we came, we attempted to call our order in. We were greeted with an automatic message that said they do not take call in orders. The automatic message said the only way you can do pickup is through DoorDash. We went through DoorDash, they was closed. But online, it said they closed at 5 o'clock. We went on DoorDash at 4 o'clock. But we were already here, so we just went inside. I stayed in the car and my family went in and they told them they were closed early for deep cleaning. Yet the door is wide open and it's people still going in and grabbing their orders. Now we have no idea if those people ordered beforehand or what the case is. Also, the people who relayed this message, my family said were really nice. It's just the rules. And so far being in Atlanta, I found some places do have unique rules. And this is one of them. I want to be very clear. We're not blaming one person or saying one person was rude. In plain terms, don't call this restaurant trying to get nobody fired. Ain't nobody do nothing. This is the rules they had. If you don't like their rules, their rules not for you. And for me and my family, the rules just went for us. We just not their target audience. For the record, afterwards, I did walk in and I did recognize and they attended the services but i respectfully declined i'm a normal person i pay for my food like everybody else i walk in spots like everybody else nothing wrong with his review very respectful very very kind uh more kind than i would have been and this is the freaking response from the restaurant y'all doing y'all think that's cute to get all dressed up and then en enlist your child to try to shade somebody who is is a food critic what 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 are, that is the epitome of some atlanta foolishness and of a business owner that does not have a publicist because ain't nobody gonna be able to help y'all now at all you getting dragged you deserve to be dragged period Meanwhile, somebody that actually wants to provide quality customer service and keep their business going did the following when Keith's family tried to go there. He decided to go to Six Flags as a last minute family night. Six Flags didn't have much food, so we was hungry. But Six Flags closed at 11 p.m. And my god sister actually lives in Atlanta, so we asked her where should we eat. She recommended a place called Jamaican Turk Biz. It was only seven minutes away from Six Flags. But what we did know is they also closed at 11 o'clock. But my god sister decided to call anyway just to see if there was possibility that we can get food. Mind you, my god sister never said I was with her, so they had no ideas for us. But they said, no rush, absolutely, we will stay open. You just come in when y'all get done with the park. I had no intention of recording anything, so my god sister walked in and grabbed the food. I came in maybe like 10 minutes later, and the owner immediately start crying. She said she'd been DMing me for the last year to come to the restaurant. God is amazing. And this is how that went. You're so oh. oh I appreciate you. You're so happy. Thank you. <laughs> and again, you stayed late and you had no idea it was us. I, I appreciate you. What time y'all close? We close at 11. It's 11.52. Mm -hmm. We close at 11. We, you put your order in already? Mm -hmm. they, they making it now, the process. I wrote to him. I wrote to him so much I had my message like... So why you have your way on the food there? No, they making it. Okay. And again, you making it like that, and I'm gonna reiterate, she had no idea it was a fuss. You wanna drink? I love that. No, I'm good. I appreciate you. After hearing her story and seeing a custom service, I was taken back. I asked her what were her sales for the night, I completely matched them. I said you didn't charge her yet, did you? No, no, no. I okay, for sure. Can I ask you a question? What sales did y'all make today? Twenty-six hundred. Can I pay you that? Can I pay you that? Can I pay you that? I want to match your sales for the day. He wants to match your sales. I want to match your sales today. So charge my car for twenty six seventy three. dollars I'm dead serious, too. I'm dead serious. Charge my car for twenty six seventy three. dollars That's what she said she made when sales today. This is our sales, and one of them was something that I bought. See? I bought something for 200 Match me. Twenty eight seventy four. Now, see, when you call me and you talk about God, you talk about favor. You know how many times you call me on the phone every day and talk about this? God said, when life becomes more than you can stand, just mm -hmm. get out your own way mm -hmm. and let me do your work. Mm -hmm. God is amazing. Time for favor. Oh, and my son has favor. So hold on. Listen, let me tell you something. I'm going to give my daughter. You always go say, who don't, who has not. And God said, you walking in light, you got to receive the light. Instead of crying, you need to rejoice. You hear what I'm telling you? Rejoice. Because guess what? That man walked into your establishment, and God put that on his heart. I took off the gratuity. Why? Put the gratuity back on there. And when I got to the hotel room, I ate the food. She gave us some Rasta pastas. And in my opinion, absolutely amazing. I smashed. Mm. 
It's a 9.4 out of 10. It's high. That is. I love pasta. This two minutes later, by myself. Jolo, Jolo. This thing was stacked up here. All